Happy Halloween, everybody. I'm Mike Naso with the latest tropical update. Late at night now, it's the 11.30 p.m. update, October 31st. We're about to enter the month of November, but hurricane season officially goes until the end of November, November 30th, and we now have a new tropical storm. This is Tropical Storm Ada, and Ada is centered south of Haiti, and it is moving almost straight west, and it is looking much better organized, and it's expected to be a potent hurricane near Central America, Honduras, and Nicaragua. We have hurricane watches in effect. Let's get straight to the latest as of 11 p.m. from the National Hurricane Center on Tropical Storm Ada, which has now tied with the most named storms in history. We are tied with the epic 2005 season. Remember, back in the old, old days before satellite and Air Force recon, we probably had many years where we had just as many, but as far as we could tell, 2005 and 2020 are now tied, and if we get any more tropical storms, we will surpass it. This is the first storm ever named Ada, and uh, Ada is at 15.0 north, 74.2 west, winds of 40. Definitely a tropical storm, looking very well organized, I'll show you that in a second. Moving straight to the west at 15, the high pressure should allow it to drift even west-southwest and make landfall. We now have a hurricane watch in effect for the northeast coast of Honduras and the northeast coast of Nicaragua right here with the expectation that Ada will become at least a Category 1 hurricane, if not stronger than that, and make landfall. But again, this would be on Tuesday night, and so we'd be dealing with this thing over land well into Thursday, and that could mean heavy, heavy rainfall and this area of Central America is very susceptible to devastating floods and mudslides. I remember when I was 10 years old back in 98, Hurricane Mitch, it was a Category 5. It remained offshore. It weakened to a 1 before landfall, but sitting there just raining like crazy, the flooding killed over 12,000 people. Horrible. In fact, uh, they said it set Honduras and Nicaragua back decades in their progress economically. Hopefully that doesn't happen with Ada. Nevertheless, if you're in that area, be prepared. Here's the latest satellite imagery you could clearly see on this water vapor. The system's building. It's a tight system, but it looks very good. I see outflow, expanding, ventilation, evacuating air in uh, looks like all quadrants. So I think all systems are go. The uh, sea surface temperatures, you could see the Gulf of Mexico definitely cooled off. Thank goodness. After our Hurricane Zeta just the other day, and we had Hurricane Delta, Hurricane Laura, Tropical Storm Marco, Tropical Storm Cristobal, Hurricane Hannah, Tropical Storm Beta. What am I missing? Sally. Hurricane Sally. Oh my goodness. What a year for the North Gulf Coast. Much like 2005. Uh, thankfully, we didn't have a Katrina. But for those of you in Cameron, Laura tied with the strongest hurricane ever to hit Louisiana back when Abe Lincoln, before Abe Lincoln, was elected president. You can see uh, the sea surface temperatures getting back on topic. Very, very hot right over the area here south of Jamaica, near where Ada will pass. So we expect Ada to have very warm water for strengthening. The upper level wind shear, pretty favorable over the top of it. And uh, this wind shear to the north here is probably the ventilation around it. So right now, it uh, looks like it's even decreasing some more in front of it. All systems seem go for this system to strengthen. Now, the computer models, as far as the track, here's the European. You can see it takes it, much like the Hurricane Center's track, on off towards the west, then the west-southwest, and maybe back west, making landfall around the border of Honduras and Nicaragua within, say, three days or so. However, the GFS model, that's different. It keeps it very close to stalling right offshore, and a lot of them move it north, some even as a significant hurricane, somewhere near maybe Cuba, Florida, even the Gulf of Mexico or off the east coast. You can see some models take it out like this, others slam it into Florida, others bring it up and then around. We don't know yet. Right now, the thinking is, is that it'll take a track towards Central America and maybe in, but there is uncertainty as it nears the coast, and we're going to watch that very, very carefully. The hurricane models, which have performed very well, this is the HMON. You can see it develops Ada into a potent hurricane and then makes landfall 
right in Honduras, right on the border of Honduras and Nicaragua, and it keeps it moving inland. And this would be, by goodness, Thursday of next week, still dealing with whatever's left of it. Hopefully it wouldn't be raining like crazy. The H-Wharf model, you can see, makes Ada a very powerful hurricane, a much stronger hurricane, a major hurricane, and then brings it right ashore, look at that, well-defined eye, into the north coast of Honduras. Kind of a rare track, but right into Honduras, and then you can see it continues and weakens it as it moves inland. But again, on Thursday, we'd still be dealing with heavy rain over areas of Guatemala, El Salvador, and Belize. So, right now, the best bet is something with the hurricane models are showing. However, if you live further north, keep, a, keep an eye out in Florida just in case Ada decides to do something. The key messages for Tropical Storm Ada, number one, it is expected to become a hurricane early next week as it approaches the coast of Central America. Late Monday, Monday night, there is a risk of storm surge, hurricane force winds, rainfall, for portions of Nicaragua and Honduras, and they have those hurricane watches out. Those will be changed to warnings, and based on the satellite, I think Ada might become a hurricane much quicker than we anticipate. Number two, through Thursday, heavy rain. Flash flooding for Jamaica, the Caymans, Central America, and as I mentioned, possible landslides in higher terrain. Flooding is also possible in the south area of here of Hispaniola, depending on the track of the storm. Again, Maybe that right side of the storm might give some rainfall there. We're going to watch it very, very carefully. So that'll do it for this late night Halloween update. And uh, we're going to continue to watch our tropical storm Ada blowing up there, getting better organized, clearly uh, well-defined outflow, starting to get that look to it. Um, I'm not seeing too much, maybe a little bit of wind shear here, but overall that's just venting the western side. It does look like Ada will become a hurricane and pose a threat and make landfall in Central America in a couple of days. We'll continue to watch it. I'm Mike Naso. Happy Halloween. Happy November 1st coming. And I will talk to you guys next time.